My name is uh, Karina Mikatuk. I am creative marketing producer in uh, Colossi Games. I create all marketing visuals for the game called Gladiator Survival in Rome. Multitasking, it's very, very important because being a marketing producer, it's not only to search for ideas and analyzing results of campaigns. Sometimes you are a videographer, text editor, graphic designer, uh, is a social media manager all in one. And uh, working for mobile marketing, it's not just to make something beautiful, it's creating something that actually makes people download and play. Usually we start by analyzing results for the last campaign, uh, with the team, so I have, we have marketing designer and we have a guy who are doing UA and also our CEO participated in marketing and creative process some time to time as well. And then I dive into the creation process with our marketing designer or we create tasks for the agency. Creative marketing producer should be very, very curious about everything. So it's very important to go beyond game, go to museum to find something concerning your uh, theme or idea. Or sometimes you just need time to do nothing. Then you just relax, you become boring and some ideas start. Unlike working on the product directly, in marketing you see the quality of your work almost immediately. I would say that it's a combination of static, video and, if it's possible, playable ads. For Google Ads we use a lot of static images, for TikTok we are making UGC content, for Facebook we are doing gameplay videos because it's work better. ASO and UA work only in combination. So requirements for these two fields are different, but you always have in mind that paid, paid creatives will work so much worse without well-made store visuals. Remember that different people play for different reasons and try to find the player's motivation that works. After finding at least, at least one successful motivation, uh, you will successfully promote a full pack of creatives. Use good enough rule until you know for sure that this idea is performing. Beautiful doesn't mean successful. A lot of people trying to fully copy their competitors because they see their store and they think, oh, this game is very successful, so it will work. You never know why the game uses this or that asset and how it performs. And if the success is because of good store visuals or because uh, of the huge amount of money that they paid for traffic. Yeah, so... Um, my best achievement is uh, building the visuals during half a year that gives 2 million of downloads organically. Now I'm challenging myself to improve our store page even more uh, because um, we want to make the store rank our page higher in the survival scene. In just one day, the average mobile user is exposed to dozens or even hundreds of ads. Something that may catch the attention is ads that really speak to them. So I think it's user-centric ways of marketing. Personalization will be more important than ever.